Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a question a lot of you might have wondered. Why do pro mixing engineers like Jason Joshua or Chris Lord LG use so little compression when mixing vocals, yet still get such incredible results? If you're like me, when you first started mixing, you might have felt the need to pile on the compression just to get your vocals to sit right in the mix. But these pros, they seem to barely touch the compressor and boom, their vocals sound perfect. So what's the secret here? Well, the answer might actually surprise you. And it's exactly why we developed an entire plugin to solve this mystery for everyday mixers like you and me. For now, let's break down the secret behind professional vocal mixes and how you can use our plugin Dynasyst to improve your own vocal sound. Why do the pros need so little compression and still get such stable vocals with just a few dB of gain reduction? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. Vocal editing. Here's the thing. Most big name mixing engineers like Jason Joshua or Chris Lord LG are working with vocals that have already gone through some serious prep work. These vocals have likely been compressed during recording with analog compressors but more importantly, they've been edited by a studio assistant before they even hit the mixing desk. So what does this editing involve? Studio assistants manually adjust the vocal performance by writing volume automation. They smooth out any volume jumps, tame loud breaths and control harsh sibilance. This step alone makes the vocal much more consistent, meaning the mixing engineer doesn't have to rely as much on compression to get everything evened out. Without this vocal editing step, you'd need a lot more compression to get the same kind of steady smooth vocal performance that the pros achieve with just a few dB of compression. Now it all makes sense why professional engineers only need a light touch of compression. It's because their vocals have gone through an extra layer of care before they start mixing. But here's the thing. Most of us don't have a studio assistant on hand to do all this tedious editing for us. I don't either. So what can we do? Since we know that properly edited vocals are fundamental to professional vocal production, we have a few solutions to help you achieve that. One of them is completely free and doesn't require any plugins, while the other two use plugins for faster results. The first free option is to edit the vocals manually. To do this, you can slice your vocal clip into multiple pieces and adjust the clip gain individually. Another method is to write automation for the clip gain. You can also use automation to lower the volume for certain parts, like reducing breaths and sibilance. The second option is to use plugins like a vocal writer to even out the gain. A great example for this is our plugin Gain Aim. However, you would still need to manually edit breaths and sibilance or use a second plugin to handle those specific issues. Finally, the third option is to use a smart studio assistant like our plugin Dynasyst. Dynasyst works like a professional audio engineer's assistant. It evens out the gain, detects breaths and sibilance, and is powered by a content-aware gate. This means you don't need to set a threshold for the gate to work. Dynasyst automatically analyzes your vocals and writes automation, just like you would manually. So now let's take a closer look at how to use Dynasyst. Dynasyst is an all-in-one solution for vocal editing. With our new update 2.0, we've introduced a more intuitive interface along with several new features. Thanks to its offline processing using ARA, audio suite or transfer mode, Dynasyst analyzes the audio signal in advance. Once the analysis is complete, automation is generated based on your settings. After that, Dynasyst needs no CPU or causes any latency during playback, which is especially helpful for larger projects. To navigate through the waveform, use the mouse wheel to zoom in. You can scroll horizontal by holding Command on Mac or Win on Windows while using the mouse wheel. If you have a horizontal mouse wheel, you can use that as well. Now let's walk through the interface. 
The editing features in Dynasys are organized into tabs. You find tabs for writing, gating, breath detection and sibilance detection. Switching tabs updates the view accordingly. The last tab allows access to all parameters at once. On the left you find the mode, where you can switch between vocal and instrument mode. In instrument mode there is no breath or sibilance detection and the gate uses a threshold instead of the content-driven gate found in vocal mode. At the top right you see the source section. Here you can choose what Dynacest should analyze. By default it operates in track mode, meaning it analyzes all clips on the track. Switching to clip mode allows it to analyze only the selected clip. In the top area you can bypass the plugin by clicking the logo or the power icon. You find errors to undo and redo and next to them is the preset section. Click on the disk icon to save your preset and use the blank paper icon to load the default settings. This loads the preset named default. Use the arrow icon to browse through the presets or click on the preset name to open the preset menu. To access the menu, click the question mark icon. Lastly, in the settings menu accessible by clicking the gear icon, you find options to enable tooltips and change the default analysis source. If you're working on a larger screen, you can adjust the scaling here as well. At the bottom, you can toggle auto analyze on and off by clicking the arrows. By default, auto analyze is on. Next to that is one of Dynasys' new features. Clicking this icon allows you to select a loop for analysis. To choose a section, click and hold on the waveform, then release where you want the loop to end. The section syncs with the loop selection in your DAW and snaps to your set grid. Dynasist will now analyze only the selected portion, helping you quickly find the settings you need without waiting for the entire track to be analyzed. Moving to the next button, the pen icon takes you into edit mode, where you can manually adjust automation points just like in your DAW. Now that we are familiar with the interface, let's dive into the vocal rider. The vocal rider in Dynasist stands out due to its offline processing. Dynasist can analyze the signal in advance, knowing exactly when your vocal's volume decreases or increases. This prevents the vocal rider from creating the pumping effect or artifacts you might experience with other compressors or vocal riders. With the target loudness, you can set the loudness and LUFSI for the entire selected area. LUFSI measures the overall loudness of a clip. The speed parameter determines how quickly the gain should be adjusted. Low values result in more aggressive adjustments. But first, let's listen to the vocal completely unedited. I could take over, boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intentions. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you all my attention. Yeah. Now let's hear it with the default settings. The speed slider set to one second and the smooth parameter at 50%. I could take over, boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intentions. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you all my attention. Yeah. Now let's increase the speed slider and listen again. I could take over, boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intentions. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you all my attention. Yeah. No. As you can hear, the gain adjustments are more noticeable now. If you prefer a more aggressive vocal writing but want to avoid unnatural sound changes, you can use the smooth parameter. 
This flattens the automation to prevent strong gain increases. You can also use the boundaries feature if you only want to control the automation peaks. However, keep in mind that these boundaries only affect the riding, not the gate, breadth or sibilance features. Now, Let's listen to the signal again, this time with a higher smooth value and the same speed settings as before. I could take over, boy let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intentions. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you all my attention. Yeah, no. We still have very fast and precise volume automation without any harsh or obvious gain adjustments. The true peak detection acts like a true peak limiter. If a part is going to clip, it reduces the volume to prevent distortion. That's why I recommend keeping this option on. Finally, the pre-filter settings take into account the way the human ear hears sound, providing a more natural listening experience. Now let's move on to the next feature, the gate. Why classical gates are outdated? Traditional gates rely on a fixed threshold, which can cause issues. Sometimes the gate opens or closes too early or too late, resulting in unwanted artifacts. This is why many mixing engineers edit vocals manually. It's time consuming, but ensures no syllables are accidentally cut off. That's where Dynasys Content Aware Vox Gate comes in. It doesn't require a threshold. Instead, it detects where the vocals are and gates everything else automatically. The settings are simple to use. By adjusting the lines, you can control the gate's opening and closing times. You can also raise or lower the line at the bottom to set the floor level of the gated signal. The minimum noise length setting determines how long a sound must be to be affected by the Vox gate. For example, as you increase the noise length, you notice that shorter noises are no longer gated and the red reduction lines disappear. There's also an additional threshold. While it's not required for the Vox gate to function, it can be useful. If there's bleed from another speaker in your recording, you can use this threshold to exclude quieter sounds from being picked up. Modern vocal productions are often very bright and treble happy. This makes the essing and the breathing more important than ever. Without addressing these elements, your vocals will sound unnatural and be tiring to listen to. As I mentioned earlier, top music producers receive their vocals pre-edited, which includes reducing sibilance and breaths. Without these steps, they wouldn't be able to apply compression in EQ as effectively. The breath and sibilance features in Dynasist are straightforward. The relative threshold controls how loud a breath has to be for it to be affected by your settings. For breaths, I want to target all of them, so I'll set the threshold to minus infinite. To avoid completely removing the breaths, use the range to set the maximum amount of reduction. Let's hear a before and after. First, here's the vocal completely unedited. Yeah, nobody else can do it like you. You're a beautiful disaster. You came crashing, fumbling an easy pass. You didn't score. Now you're on the floor without a shot, baby. No shot, baby. Yeah. Now listen with breath detection applied. Yeah, nobody else can do it like you. You're a beautiful disaster. You came crashing, fumbling an easy pass. You didn't score. Now you're on the floor without a shot, baby. No shot, baby. That's a good starting point for adding a compressor and a cue. But before we move on to that, we need to reduce the sibilance as well. The settings are similar, but you'll need different values to achieve natural results. Reducing sibilance too much will cause your vocals to sound like they're lisping. From my experience, a reduction of 6 to 9 dB should be enough. Now let's hear the vocal without the assing. 
yeah nobody else can do it like you you're a beautiful disaster you came crashing fumbling and now with the asing applied yeah nobody else can do it like you you're a beautiful disaster you came crashing fumbling an easy pass you didn't score now you're on the floor without a shot baby no shot baby to make sure to target each sibilance you can use the relative threshold as well now we have a well edited vocal that's ready to mix and we've saved a lot of time compared to doing it manually if you want to try it out for yourself you can download the trial from the product website i've included the link in the video description that's it for today i wish you all the best and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment See you next time and happy mixing.